Let's start with this. All you want is to flatten this, have this on your palms or on the screen in front of you because come on now, people's life is so much lighter on your shoulders. But how? How you do all of this on this? What's the easiest way to do it? How you organize all of this on your computer? Well, you do it with this PDF editor and here's how it works. Before I start, thank you Wondershare for sponsoring this video. Wondershare makes creative productivity apps like PDF Element, Filmora and more. Today we are looking at PDF Element to help us take better notes, more organized notes for students because I once was a student and I understand the pain of taking notes on a computer as a student. I think I say student a lot. PDF Element 8 is one of the easiest ways to create, edit and convert documents. I've used it, it basically transforms your PDF to anything that you want. What I really like is how intuitive this new UI is. It took me about an hour playing around with these icons to learn it, so if I can do it, you've got this. Overall, it has a very clean design and it makes the experience working on it so much better. It is three times faster than the previous generation in opening, converting, and editing documents. You can also add legally binding, secure electronic signatures when you're creating forms. Plus, you can enjoy up to 100 gigs of cloud storage so you can have access to your files from anywhere and you don't have to worry if your hard drive crashes or fails because all your files are saved in the cloud. But do check out the links in the description below to find out more. I'll be using my Mac here to show y'all how I take notes, all the tips and tricks because this Mac is something that I would be bringing to school if I was still in school. Yeah. <laughs> For those of you guys who are new to this app, I'm going to give you guys a big broad picture to make things easier. So there are two layers. The first layer is the original PDF, this thing here. This is the permanent one, the one that you typically cannot change or edit, but with this app, you can. The second layer is whatever notes or annotations that you draw and write on this PDF. And this is like the top layer. So first layer and second layer. And all the tools that you will probably use are all on the left. But don't worry, today we're only going to look at five of these tools out of seven, which is still quite a bit. But the main bulk being the markup tool, which is the most important one, the, my favorite. <laughs> okay, markup is probably the tool that you'll be using the most. Call is probably one of my favorite tools so far. So we click on this and it creates this line and this box. So it basically draws attention to whatever you point at and you can angle it wherever you want and you simply just type out whatever you want. Oh, sh font size is too big so we can basically change the fonts to maybe maybe 14. Oh, and you can also change the font type to let's say water turn coat and you can adjust this box however you like, whatever size you like. And if you don't like the white background, you can easily just change it to green, blue, whatever color you fancy. Yep, there you go. <laughs> So now you have a box all to yourself. I like this because it creates a mind map of sorts. I like to have the main ideas here so that you know it catches the eyes the moment you look at this sheet of PDF. And oh, one thing that I love, absolutely love, is shortcuts. So all of these tools have shortcuts. So you can see here, Command, Control, C. So instead of like clicking on these tools one by one when you want them, so you just press Command, Control, C, and then you can just drag it out. So you can type what ever you want. Yeah. Shortcuts are my favorite things and it makes things so much faster because each time you want to have a text box or have call out, you don't have to go up to the top menu bar to select one by one. And if you use them long enough, you probably know them by heart and it's gonna be so quickly and so simple. When you want to take notes, you want a text box, you got it. You want a call out, you got it. There you go. The alignment tool, you see this line appearing here? This alignment tool comes in so handy whenever you're rearranging stuff, especially if you're OCD like I am and you need to have things aligned to the middle or have them aligned to the boxes next to each other. So yeah, it's really, really good to have. I love the alignment tools. And besides these three main tools here, we have other basic tools like your highlight, strike through, underline, and your pencil to draw graph maybe. And you also have these really practical stamp tools like approve, revise, and you just paste it here. And you can enlarge it as much as you want. And these designs are actually pretty neat. I put use it. You also can insert your own signature here, like this. 
and I want to highlight once again the best thing about this that makes note taking on PDF elements so far so quick is the shortcuts that every one of these markup tools have. It's basically one last step to click and if you have to create a lot of text boxes that actually saves you a lot of time overall. Yep. All the notes that we create on this page will actually appear here under comments so you can actually glance through what kind of comments that you made. It comes in real handy when you're studying for exams and you need a quick reference to that note. Yep. So the next tool is the text tool and this basically helps you edit on any of these words. As long as you're able to see this box appear around, it means that the app is able to recognize these words and use the OCR technology to make it such as editable. So you can do things like this. So this is kind of silly, but yeah, this is something that you can do. Um, but if you want to undo it, press Command Z. You can actually change the fonts to bold, to unbold it, and to italic it. You can even change the color, and you can change the font size. So it's pretty cool. It's basically editing the PDF document itself, which is something I really like. And it comes in really handy, especially if there's a typo somewhere, especially when you spend hours editing on Microsoft Word, and then you finally, finally export it to a PDF, and you're doing your final read through, and you spot a mistake, and you have to go all the way back to Microsoft Word again, and edit it and export it. But with PDF Element, you don't have to go back to Microsoft Word to edit. You can easily just, you know, click on it and you are good. And that saves you time. The next two tools, Image and Links, are pretty simple as well. Each time you want to insert an image, you click this and you open it. And now you can drag and drop and place it wherever you want. You can even rotate it or replace the image or crop the image or extract the image or delete it. Why would you delete it, right? And if you guys notice this, the image actually sits below all your mockups because your mockup is like the, the highest level, the top layer of everything. And the image is underneath your mockup layer and underneath the image sits your original PDF document. And with PDF Element, you're able to edit every single level and that's pretty great. <laughs> I mean, we weren't able to do that in the past. But one thing I wish that PDF Element could have done was to simply allow us to drag the image from the files and drop it on this PDF. That would be so much easier. But honestly, this is a PDF document. It's not a PowerPoint slide. So I don't see myself adding pictures to this a lot. So that's fine. Next, link. This tool basically allows you to insert a web page here. For instance, my YouTube channel, please subscribe if you guys are new. It helps the channel a lot. Click visible and solid it and we see what we have. So for instance, if you have a super important link that you think is very relevant to this page, you can just insert a link here and you just double click it and you can open it and there you go. You go to my <laughs> YouTube channel, subscribe. <laughs> Oh, one thing, what if we run out of space on this page? Well, PDF Element actually allows you to create a blank new page from scratch. So basically you just go into Organize Pages and you click Insert Blank Page. And there you go, it's blank and you can write all your notes here. I like it a lot because sometimes I have overflowing notes that I want to write, but I don't have space on this page. And you know, like on the paper itself, it is usually pretty packed already, so it's kind of nice to have a second page here to write down all my thoughts and my notes and whatever the professor is saying, so that's nice. And once you're done with all your note taking and you think, oh, you want to convert this to another document format like Word doc or Excel or PowerPoint, you can do that. And this is actually using the OCR technology and you do this by clicking tool and clicking PDF converter. And there you go, you can export this to all the other formats. It's pretty nice. PDF Element is also available on Windows, Mac, and iOS devices. And yes, you do need a subscription to enjoy the features, but there's a free trial so you can try it first before deciding if you want to get it or need to get it. And if you're a student, there's also an education pricing. Right now, there's a promotion going on for PDF Element. Links in the description for you to check out. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope this helps some of you guys. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and let's be friends because why not? <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys next year. Happy New Year in advance. Stay minty and cheery. Goodbye.